guys and girls. So today's math lesson, we're just gonna go over some of the things that they're practicing on lesson nine. So on your lesson nine homework, you're gonna find the place value house. Looks like that. And what goes on this side? Right. Who said that? I heard you. Tens and ones. And they give you another place value house that looks just like that one over on this side of your paper. And just like all place value houses, the tens goes on the left and the ones goes on the right. So over in here, they'll give you a number like two in the tens and four in the ones. We know that that number says 24. And then they give you the less than, and we're calling that a less than because we start reading from this side less than this box over here. So this box over here has to be greater than that box because it reads 24 is less than what? They give us the number three. So it has to be greater. So the tens has to be greater than the tens in this number. And we have two tens. So can we put a zero? No, because that would only be three. Can we put one ten? and three ones, but one ten is not more than two tens. So if we put a two, it still wouldn't work because even though we would have two tens in each number, we only have three ones and over here we have four ones. This number has to be greater than because the big mouth is facing that way. So we could put a three because three tens are more than two. We could put a four or a five or a six. Anything bigger than a two will make this sentence true. And they want us to practice writing our number sentences. And we always start on this side, reading that way, just like your name. So our number sentence would say 24 is less than 33. And that's how you would um, answer 2B on your Lesson 9 homework. So let's do the next one underneath that problem. This is 2C on Lesson 9 homework. And what they do here is they give you two tens and they give you three ones. They're saying that this number has to be greater than, because the big mouth is bigger, greater than the this side of the mouth, which is closer to this 10 frame house, or place value house. So we have 23, and then we have two tens here, and our job is to fill in the ones to make this statement true. So 23 is greater than 20, yes? We could use 21, we could use 22, but if we put 23, it wouldn't be true because then that would be an equal sign. So here, our number sentence says 23 is greater than 20. So that's how you would fill in this answer. And then this is how you would write the number sentence because we start here and we read over that way. So we'll do one more on that homework page. It's kind of a tricky one compared to the others. You know, they always try to do something tricky to you. So we're gonna erase these out. And this one says that there's one in the tens and seven in the ones, and this is, the 17 is going to be greater than, there's no tens, but they give you a seven. This 17 is greater than this. If we use a one here, it's going to be equal. If we use a two here, that's gonna say 27, and 27 is greater than 17. So there's only one number that's gonna work there. What do you think it is? 
<laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy for you guys. It is a zero. 17 is greater than seven. And your number sentence looks like this. 17 is greater than seven. That's how you do those tricky problems on one side of your lesson number nine homework page. On the other side, they want you to do like pencil and paper, but I think it's way more fun to make a game out of it. So I'm looking at this page right here, your lesson nine homework, and it tells you just to like write them over here or draw lines to the matching one. I think it's more fun if you just take the some pieces of paper, cut them into rectangles, and make these cards. So I made a 2930. That's this card. I made a 1221. It's this card. I made all of these cards, and I'm just going to make a game out of it. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to take my cards that I copied right off of the paper. If you don't have any paper, you can cut that math sheet into pieces so that you can have little squares. So I'm just going to shuffle these up. And I'm going to put, you can draw a greater than and a less than. I happen to have some cute alligators from our classroom. So he's greater than. And this one over here is going to be less than. So I'm going to take my numbers and figure out which one it goes to. I can even put them over here. Or I can put them in the middle. <laughs> That'll be more fun. Okay, so I have 29 and 30. So we start on this side here. 29 is what to 30? 29 is less than 30. So does it go with this alligator? Or does it go with this alligator? It goes with this one because if we were to draw our less than sign, it would go like that, just like the alligator's mouth. So that's one card for the bottom alligator. What about this number? 22 is what to 32? Is 22 greater than 32? Nope. So it's going to go this way. This says 22 is less than 32. So it's going to go to the bottom alligator. Then we can pull out the next one. 12 and 21. 12 is what to 21? Greater than? Is 12 greater than 21? Or is 12 less than 21? Right. It is less. So this alligator, he's getting kind of a good lunch today. What about this one? What is 39 to 40? Is 39 greater than 40? Or is 39 less than 40? Right, 39 is less than 40. Another one for this one. Boy, he's going to get full. What about this one? 35 is what to 25? Is 35 greater than 25? Yes, it is. Finally, this alligator gets a snack. It goes that way because the alligator wants to eat the bigger number. So that card can go up there. What about this one? I did shuffle these cards. You guys saw me. What is this number to this number? Is it this greater than this or is this less than this? Right again. It's greater than, so it goes up here to the greater than alligator. We have one more, and it is 16 to 17. The tens are the same, so then the deciding factor is the number in the ones place. So what is 6 to 7? 6 is smaller than 7. It's less than, so the alligator mouth is going to go like that, and this card gets to go down here. So that's way more fun moving things around and then you can take them and shuffle them up and do it again. Have someone else in your family play with you. So that's um, a great way to practice lesson nine homework. I do have another joke for you. This one is 
What did the frog do when his car broke down? What did the frog do when his car broke down? He called the toad truck. <laughs> Bye.